Do you like dragons? Cinder the bubble blowing dragon. You'll have to go. Cinder, do something. Hello children. I'm Steve Leck from Modifen and I'd like to read you one of my favourite stories. Uh, do you like dragons? I like a good story about dragons. So the story I'd like to read you today is called Cinder the Bubble Blowing Dragon. Now, I hope you enjoy it. Cinder the Bubble Blowing Dragon Written by Jessica Anderson Illustrated by Leah Ellen Hemi This simply won't do! said the king. You'll have to go. He shook his head so hard that his crown toppled over one eye. But Cinder, the king's dragon, didn't dare to smile. What sort of a dragon are you anyway? The king continued. All the other kings have proper fire-breathing dragons, while I, king of Tarragonia, have a dragon who can only blow bubbles. It's just too embarrassing. The king was right, thought Cinder. He was a sad disappointment. Coming from a famous dragon family, great things had been expected of him. But when he became the junior dragon at the palace, he found he could only blow bubbles. And however hard he puffed and snorted, not one flicker of flame appeared. Instead, he blew streams of bubbles, and the harder he snorted, the more bubbles appeared, until he was standing up to his scaly chest in one enormous bubble bath. All the children loved him. Blow us some bubbles, Cinder, they would shout whenever they saw him. They thought bubbles were much better than fire, but the king was not amused. Now he decided that Cinder must go. He'd even put an advertisement in the Tarragonia Times. It read, Wanted, a fire-breathing dragon for palace duties. Applicants must be able to produce large quantities of smoke and fire. One dragon had applied. When he comes this afternoon, you may be present in the throne room to see how a real dragon behaves, said the king. At two o'clock, there was enormous roaring at the palace gates. Blaze, the world's most fearsome dragon, wishes to see the king, bellowed an enormous voice, and the air filled with smoke and flames. Okay, okay, show off. Keep your fireworks for the king, snapped the palace sentry crossly. He was fond of Cinder and thought it was a shame he had to go. Where is the king? thundered Blaze. Then, without waiting to be announced, he stormed into the throne room where the king was seated. Cinder was crouching miserably in the corner. I bring fire for your majesty, the enormous dragon roared. The king looked rather alarmed at the creature's hot breath, reached him and frizzled his beard. Then the carpet started smoulding and the flames crept up the curtains. When his crown began to melt, the king had enough. Stop! he ordered. That will do nicely, thank you. But Blade, it seemed, couldn't stop. He was great at starting fires, he explained, but no use at stopping them. Cinder, do something, whimpered the king. Cinder did the only thing he could think of. He blew with all his might and as the bubbles began to fill the room, the flames died down. The carpet no longer smouldered and the royal crown stopped melting. Now I've done it, thought Cinder. I've quite put out Blaze's fire. Blaze himself was pretty put out too, but the king was delighted. Thank goodness you were here, he said, as he ordered a dish of ice cream to cool himself down. Some people don't know what they want, even when they get it, muttered Blaze huffily as he departed in a cloud of very black smoke. 
I don't hold with all this smoke pollution, said the king as he gobbled his ice cream. Now let's write another advertisement. It appeared the next morning and read, By royal decree, breathing fire is now forbidden in Tarragonia. Out of work dragons wishing to train for the new royal bubble blowing brigade should write to Sir Cinder, the palace fire extinguisher. The end.